Alright guys, so this is another Inkscape tutorial, and this time I want to show you how we take a drawing, something I drew on paper, uh, scan it into uh, Paint.net, and then transfer it to Inkscape to make a line art pattern that we'll use in a, usually a woodworking project. So if you don't have a scanner, you could always take a picture of it, and then just upload it to your computer and do it that way. That'll work also for, with this method. Um, but what I usually do is just use paint.net. So you go to file after you have the image on your scanner bed. You go to acquire. And then from scanner or camera. Pick your scanner. Hit OK. And then uh, I usually just do it as a color picture. It seems to pick it up the best. And then hit scan. Okay, once it is uh, once it has been scanned in, I will save it as a JPEG. Then I'll open Inkscape up and go to File, Import, and then I will find that image. And then you want to embed it, it should be automatically selected. And then that will put that into layer one. And then you can grab it and I position it so that it would be in this paper. Go to Document, Properties in the File menu switch it to eight and a half by eleven and then the background color sometimes it's all the way over here you need to set it to white or it won't print right and then just X out of that and then I lock that layer add a new layer and then zoom in and then I can grab the bezier tool and then I will start doing this now the best way to make a straight line in Inkscape you can always look down at the bottom for the line segment angle degree but uh, the easiest way to do it is hold control after you've hit that first node and drag over to where you want it and then click or left click and then you can start getting your nodes set and then again on the bottom hold control drag over uh, and then hook it up here okay and then we'll just work on the coffee cup first so what I'll do is grab the edit uh, nodes tool or edit paths by nodes tool and then start dragging that stuff around to get those curves and that would be extremely easy just a node here node there node back up and you can well if it'll let me and you can drag that one out and then drag this one in good and then you can turn off the or hide the other one zoom out and then I usually thicken up these lines to a weight of two and then you can either file export as PNG and you can do page drawing selection or I've never really messed with custom but um, you can export that way and but the easiest thing to do is just uh, print it straight from here and that's it hope you guys enjoy this hope it was helpful uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.